In the last lecture, we have studied about the reduction of context-free grammar, which was the first step in the simplification of context-free grammar. And in this lecture, we will be studying about the next step in the simplification of CFG, which is removal of unit productions. So first, let's understand what are unit productions. Any production rule of the form A gives B, where A and B both belongs to non-terminal symbols, is called a unit production. So, if you have a production rule of the form A gives B and if both A and B are non-terminal symbols, then that is called a unit production. So, that was simple. Now, we want to remove these unit productions from our CFG in order to simplify it. So, let's see what are the procedures that we need to follow in order to do that. So, step number one says, to remove A gives B, add a production A gives X to the grammar rule whenever b gives x occurs in the grammar where x is a terminal symbol and x can also be null so whenever you have a unit production of the form a gives b what you have to do is you have to add a production a gives x and when do you need to add this you have to add this whenever b gives x occurs in the grammar and what is x x is a terminal symbol and also x can be a null symbol all right so whenever we have b gives x we can say a also gives x because a gives b and after doing this you can delete a gives b from the grammar and then we can repeat from step one until all unit productions are removed so we have to repeat this until all unit productions are removed so those were the steps it was simple and easy to understand i guess so let us take a simple example to understand this in a better way so here we have an example in which it says remove unit productions from the grammar whose production rule is given by this P where S is the start symbol and S gives X, Y, X gives A, Y gives Z and also B and Z gives M, M gives N and N gives A. So this is the production rule of the grammar and our task is to remove the unit productions from this grammar. So first of all let us see what are the unit productions that we have in this grammar. So here we see that unit productions that we have are number one is y gives z y gives z and then we have z gives m z gives m and we have m gives n m gives n so these three productions are of the form a gives b where both a and b are non-terminal symbols so here all these are non-terminal symbols so these are the three unit productions that we have in our grammar so our task is to remove them and let's see how we can remove them so i'll start with number one i'll start from m gives n so in order to remove this what i have to do is i have to do this step number one which says that add a production a gives x to the grammar rule whenever b gives x occurs so how can i do this here here i see that I'm having M and N and we see that N is giving A. So since N is giving A, I can write M also gives A because M is giving N. So I can write since N gives A, we can add, we add M gives A. I can add this to my grammar. So after I add this, how will my new production rule look like? My new production will look like this s gives x and y x gives a y gives z and also b these things are same and z gives m and instead of m gives n now i can write m gives a m gives a and then n gives a now this m gives n is removed and it is replaced by m gives a and here a is terminal symbol so this is not a unit production anymore so we have successfully removed this one now we have to remove the second one which is z gives m so let me do that in order to remove this we see that we have z gives m and from our new production rule we are seeing that m gives a so since m is giving a i can replace z gives m by z gives a so since m gives a we will add a new production which is z gives a so if i replace this in a production rule how will the new production rule look like here i will have s gives 
x and y and x gives a and y gives z and also b and now instead of z gives m I'm going to write z gives a z gives a and then the rest are same m gives a and n gives a so we have replaced this z gives m which is a unit production by z gives a a is a terminal symbol so this is not a unit production anymore so we have removed this one also now the last one is y gives z so how do we remove y gives z in order to remove that we have to look at the latest production that we have and we see that z gives a so instead of y gives z i can write y gives a from this so since we have the sim the production which says z gives a we can add we can add y gives a to our production so if i do that how will the new production rule look like s gives x and y and x gives a these are same now y gives z instead of this i can write now y gives a and y also gives b so that i should write as it is also gives b and then the rest are same so we have also removed y gives z so we have successfully removed all the unit productions and if you check this latest production rule that we have we are not having any unit productions okay but we are not done with this because if you see here the symbols z m and n are unreachable symbols now why do i call them unreachable symbols because we see that z is giving a m is giving a and n is giving a and our start symbol is s and from s we get x and y and from x i am getting a which is a terminal symbol and from y i am getting a and also b which are terminal symbols so from the start symbol there is no way you can reach the symbols z m and n so these three are unreachable symbols so what we have to do is we have to remove the unreachable symbols which are z m and n so if i remove the unreachable symbols then the new production rule that i have will look like this s gives x and y x gives a and y gives a and also b so x m and n are unreachable symbols and they are removed and this is the new production rule that we have and if you see this production rule and if we compare it with the production rule that we were given in the beginning we see that this one is minimized or simplified because all the unit productions are removed so this is how you remove the unit productions from a given cfg and simplify it so i hope this was clear to you thank you for watching and see you in the next one where we will discuss about removal of null productions